Welcome to our Lanark Ren Fruit Gentle Fit class. Today we will be using the elastic band as our strength uh, component. If you do not have an elastic band, you could always do the exercises using some light weights you have at home, or also you could do the exercises without any resistance. The important thing is just to get moving. As usual, please stop the exercise if you feel uh, any symptoms such as extreme shortness of breath, chest pain or um, angina, uh, dizziness, any of those symptoms. Uh, if you are worried about them, please consult your uh, primary care provider. We will have uh, people watching or commenting uh, on our Facebook page and reply to you and please don't hesitate to send us any feedback. I had a request on uh, talking a little bit more about uh, breathing uh, during our last class. So we're gonna review a little bit what pursed lip breathing is. It's a method to help reduce your shortness of breath, whereas you inhale through the nose and exhale through pursed lips. The trick is to try and make your exhale or breathing out a little bit longer than your breath in to help get rid of some of that trapped air that stays into your lungs. If you go to our Facebook page, you will notice that there is a little tab with photos marked on it. If you go there, there's actually a little poster that explains the three steps for pursed lip breathing. And so I invite you to practice this breathing method as we go through the various exercise portion of our class today because this will help to reduce your shortness of breath overall. So starting with some of our warm-up um, exercises, we'll start with the neck. We're going to nod. Yes. So go down and back up. Breathing in. Breathing out in and out. Two more. Breathing in back to center. Now, as we breathe out, we're going to nod no. So go from side to side, breathing in. Breathing out, in to center, out to the other side. Let's do one more to each side. Back to center, holding on to the elbows. As we breathe in, we circle up. Breathing out, we circle down. You try to make your circles as big as you're comfortable. So this helps with shoulder joint as well as helping expand our chest so we get more fresh air into our lungs. Next breath in, we switch direction. One more. Hands on the hips. This time, as we breathe out, we're going to make a little twist to one side. So take your breath in, breathe out, twist, into center, and out to the other side, warming up our spine. One 
last time. Back to center. Moving forward a little bit on your chair. You're going to put your hands on your knees. We're doing a seated version of the motion called cat and cow in yoga. So again, focusing on our breath. As we breathe in, we're going to lean forward, open the chest and lift the chin. As we breathe out, we curl the back in, tuck the chin in. Breathing in forward and breathing out back. Let's do two more, forward and back. And we come back to neutral, doing some hip flexion, lifting those knees up. One more each leg and we kick up, extending the knees. One more on each side. Lastly, we're going to do some ankle rocking. Can't see my feet. So you're going to rock your ankle up and down. So you can do that either seated, lifting the heels and lifting the toes, or you can do it with your leg up and pumping that ankle. more times. Perfect. Next on to our cardio segment, we're going to stand up, but remember that you're allowed to sit and do the same exercises uh, seated as well. So if you're standing, I want you to be close to your chair so you can use support as needed. We start with just some marching on the spot. If you're seated, you do the same thing. You march seated in your chair. So if you come to the side, you can see. So we're trying to do close to a minute of marching. Remember your pursed lip breathing in through the nose, out through pursed lips. It's a gentle breath out. It is not forced. If you were blowing on a candle, you would see the flame flicker, but you would not blow it out. Almost there, keep marching. stop coming to the chair holding on we're touching the toes to the side so touch and back touch center seated the same thing touch your toes to one side and back to center Two more on that side. Switching leg, toe touch to the side. Three. 
last one. We march again. So you can keep holding on. You can sit. Practice your purse lip breathing. For those who want a little bit more, let's bend the elbows. If that's too much, you can do just the arm motion or just the leg motion. You're doing great everyone. Keep at it, we're almost there. Three, two, and we stop. Holding on, this time we're going to kick back. So we're bending the knees, kicking back. On the side it looks like this. We're alternating each leg, kicking back. If you're sitting on your chair, just try to kick your leg towards underneath your seat as far as you're able to go comfortably. Let's do one more on each side. Perfect. We do side to side stepping next. So if you remember from last time, you open wide, together, wide, together. If you need to keep holding on, you do that. If you can do it without holding, that's great. And again, if you're seating, you're just doing your stood, touch to the side and back to center. Now to add a little challenge for those of you who might want to, you can bend your elbows and you can open up to shoulder height and down. Open and down. Again, you can decide to do just the arms or just the legs or continue with both. One more, perfect. That will conclude our strength, our cardio portion for today. I'm getting my band and I'm gonna come to sit on my chair. So we're gonna start with some chest press. So we're putting the center of the band behind our back and under the arms. You grip it pretty close your shoulders, your palms are facing down, your elbows are up at the side. We're pushing forward one fist at a time. Let's do both fists together. Two more times. Perfect. Bring that band in front. You're gonna keep your elbows bent 90 degrees, touching your side, your fists are facing each other. We're doing external rotation, so we're pulling the bend to the outside and back to center. Make sure to keep your elbows touching. This is working that rotator cuff group of muscles. So if it's uncomfortable for some of you, maybe do it without the band first. 
but it's a very useful exercise to strengthen the shoulders. Let's do two more times. Very good. Let's give those shoulders a bit of a break. You're going to put the center part of your band around the center part of your foot like so. You're going to hold it close to the ankle so your foot is hovering just above the floor. And you're going to kick up and down. Up and down. It's important that it's the leg that's moving, your hands are staying pretty much in the same spot. Let's do one more. Keeping your leg straight, your heel is down, touching the floor. You're going to bring that knee in and push down. So if I'm turning to the side, you're going to see a bit what that looks like. Last two. Perfect. You're going to switch your band to the other leg. So mid part of the foot. We start with the kicks. I'm going to show you what it looks like from the side. Kicking up and down. Working the front of your thighs, the quadricep muscle group. You can see my cat in the background having a very rough time with this quarantine period. Last one. Keeping the legs straight. Knee comes up, pushing down. on the ground and put both feet on it and you keep it fairly long in your hand. We're going to do shoulder flexion. So keeping the elbow straight as you breathe in, you're going to lift forward as high as you're able to go. Breathing out, you control back down. So make sure your band is long enough that it allows you to have full range of motion, but not too tight that it's making it difficult. You want some tension, but not too much. Breathe in, breathe out. Three more. Last one. Now you're going to shorten that grip, keeping the elbow straight still. This time we're working the back of the arm, the tricep. We're extending the arm towards the back. Let's do two more. 
And we do the other side. So lift your feet, turn that band, both feet securing it down. Start with your band a little bit longer, starting with shoulder flexion on the other arm, breathing in up, control back down. more times. Perfect. Shorten your grip. We're going to extend back, keeping that elbow reach behind you. band aside and we're going to stand up to do a few leg exercises. We're going to start with hip extension. I'm going to turn to the side so you can see. So you're standing behind your chair, you've got good support, it's stable, keeping your knee straight, you're going to kick your leg back and back to center. So this is working the glute muscle group as well as your low back. time and we switch one and two other leg kick back it's important that you keep the motion just at the hip I don't want to see this I want to see fairly straight and just the leg working Exercise. We're standing with our feet hip width apart. I want you to turn your toes out a little bit so you look a little bit like a penguin. We're going to do your heel raise, so lifting those heels up and back down. Last one, excellent, on to our stretches, standing behind your chair, you're going to take a step back, front knee is bent, back leg is straight, your feet are flat and facing forward. It's important to stretch after you exercise, it helps reduce some of that muscle achiness that can sometimes appear later on during the day. We hold for about 30 seconds. We switch to the other leg. Perfect. Coming to your chair, 
We're going to stretch the front of the leg. So you're going to sit a little bit on the edge of your chair, grabbing on with the hand on the other side so you don't slip off. Bring that knee down, reach back with that foot so you feel a bit of a pull in front of that hip and thigh. Bringing that leg back, scoot over to the other side of your chair. Same thing, holding on, dropping that knee and reaching back with that foot. Coming back to the center of your chair, we're going to bring the fingertips behind the ears. I want you to pull the elbows as far back as you can. You should feel the stretch in the front of the shoulder and the chest. We hold this there. Bending the head forward. Coming back to neutral. Take a big breath in and out. By now your breathing should have gotten back to your normal. If it hasn't, continue to do some light stretching so that you're back to your normal within the next few minutes. Thank you for watching and please send us any feedback that you have so that we can make our program um, better suited for your needs. Until next time, take care.